Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I'm going to share a story with you, and I want you to see just how on time God is. He is so mindful of you and me. He is with us 100%, even when we're giving him 5%. But listen, well, you know, sometimes he wants to teach us a little lesson. But in this case, he was definitely on time. I was walking with the Lord. You know, there weren't any breaches of contract, so to speak. So, uh, you know, not that I knew of. Well, I was at a hair salon. This was my vocational calling. You know how we have different callings, call to preach, motive, gift, exhortation, encouragement, all that. But my vocational gift was to do hair. And that's what God called me to do. And let me tell you this. When God calls you to be self-employed, I got to throw this in. When God calls you to be self-employed, what ends up happening is you're able to walk by faith in ways that you cannot when you're working. So, it's also a little scary on the at the lean seasons, but I needed my car fixed. I had a 92 Buick Roadmaster, and that bad boy had a serpentine belt that busted. I had to pay $400 to have that baby fixed. It was 9 o'clock in the morning when I got the news. I got to the hair salon at 10.30. I had a full weave. I did that full weave while I was almost done. Now, I didn't have anybody that day. The full weave was a last-minute call. They called around 9.30, 10 o'clock. So I do that weave. I'm expecting my car might be there two or three days because I have to work up the $400, right? I don't have it. So... That morning, I did a full weave at 10.30 at uh, maybe around 2-ish or so. I started my second weave that also called about an hour before I finished the first weave. So they got there maybe 15 minutes as I was finishing, and I was able to go right in and do their hair next. Okay, then while I'm finishing their hair, someone else calls for a last-minute full weave. By the time I got through with my day, I had more than $400. And before that man, the mechanic, got off from work, I was able to call him and say, can you bring my car? Is it done? I got the money. He had finished the job. I had the money and my car was in my hands within 30 minutes after I finished my day. Those are the kind of ways God can be right there. Now, being self-employed has its scary moments. Some people call it living on the edge. But there are a lot of rewards in that when you step in to a new arena that God has called you to do, you go for it. You press forward. You succeed. You're getting in it. You're working this thing. When things come up, all of a sudden, God has a way of manipulating. I don't know what he does or how he does it, but people show up out of the woodwork. Let me share this with you. One day, now my overhead, this was years later. This is when I got my own salon. I had to pay a monthly lease of $2,300 monthly. I had a slow week. It was down. To, I was down at the very last turn. Saturday, I'm finishing up. Monday, the rent has to be there. So what I did, of course I prayed. And by then the Lord had shown me how to work with an assistant. Well, the person that was working with me, we had become real good friends, and we still are. Now, we worked that day. 
believe it or not, the money just kept coming through the door. I couldn't believe it. I was, I mean, we sold Indian hair. We did everything. Um, she helped me with shampoos, taking out weaves. It was just, it was just a great day. She made almost $200 for the day. I made $1,200. Every dime of it went to the rent. But the bottom line is God blessed me. I already had the difference. I needed $1,200 more. And I only had one day to work to make all this money. And they were not all scheduled. But as they came in, Sometimes people would come in, they want a partial weave, and they say, oh, I'll buy two bundles if you got them so I have the same kind of hair and I could get it redone over and over. And I was just selling hair, and do I, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. It all went to the rent. But you know how good it felt to be able to pay my rent right on time, every time? God did that. I mean, it's scary if, if he had shown me that when I first got the call, the assignment to go back to school and get my cosmetology license. I don't know if I would have had the nerve. I really don't. But as he walks you in by faith, you go from glory to glory, from strength to strength, from problem to to victory. You learn. You're built up. You're girded. You're stronger. You're more daring. You can step out on God's word even if you can't see a step. And the more you do, the more you're able to do. So when God tells you, do this, do that, turn right, turn left, stop. Turn the motor off. You could be dead in the middle of traffic. But guess what? You will do it because you know that God knows what he's doing, even if you don't, even if you don't have a clue. So trust in him. Trust in him. He knows what he's doing. You're not taking a chance. You're walking by faith. Maybe not by sight, but you're walking by faith. And God honors faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. So walk by faith, not by sight, by faith, okay?